I peered over the edge as I had done so often before. Lots of people came from great distances to see it at first, but a decade after it happened, the number of spectators had dwindled to just a few and eventually none saved for the occasional passerby. Of course, the planet's population had also diminished significantly. Those who were spared instant death died slowly from the cold or lack of food, or victims of them. You know, them. It wasn't my fault. I know that is what you are thinking. A lot of people blamed me at first. Most are dead now, but think about it. A whole tale. Right there under your feet. What man could resist just peeking? Rupala Super Deep Borehole was the result of a scientific drilling project of the Soviet Union in the Bachinsky District on the Kola Peninsula. The project attempted to drill as deep as possible into the Earth's crust. Drilling began on May 24, 1970. Several holes were drilled, all branching from a central hole. The deepest reached 12,000 262 meters in 1989 and was the deepest artificial point on Earth. The borehole was only 23 centimeters in diameter. The hole reached its deepest measurable point in 1989. The hole depth was expected to reach 13,500 meters by the end of 1990, but never did. Officially, the drilling project was abandoned because of higher than expected temperatures. 180 degrees Celsius instead of the expected 100 degrees Celsius. Unofficially, <laughs> well now, that's a different story. A lot of unexpected discoveries arose from the project. Water where none was anticipated. Pockets of hydrogen gas where it should not have existed. Geophysical discontinuities that flew in the face of everything seismologists had previously predicted. On St. Valentine's Day in 1990, however, came the most shocking discovery of all. Life. Nearly 13,000 meters under the Earth's crust at temperatures of 180 degrees Celsius. Nothing should have been able to live in those conditions, and yet, there it was. Just plankton still life it should have been heralded as the scientific breakthrough of the century but instead within two weeks the drilling equipment had been removed and the borehole capped with the steel plate bolted in place and then welded shut for an extra degree of added security Why hadn't we been more suspicious at the time?
There were many theories and legends that were bedded about. The one that made the most sense was that scientists were afraid of contamination. After all, this was an entirely new species that no one or no thing on earth had ever been exposed to. Other legends were more laughable. Chupacabra. Bigfoot. Flying saucers. Slenderman. An American Loch Ness monster. The Skinwalker. The ranch in Utah. There was a tall tale that the tormented screams of the damned could be heard through the opening of the well to hell. A little imagination just to be able to envision the torch and hear the screams that echo through here, 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 here. I should admit that rumor was probably rooted in some truth as I didn't doubt that strange sounds would emanate from a hole that deep with who knows what bubbling at the bottom. Tormented screams though? <laughs> I don't think so.